The Pixis machine has been around for about a decade, now in hospitals nationwide, but most nurses learn how to use it only after they start working. The faculty all came together and said, you know, we could really use this. So Dean Wilkerson took their suggestion, and now A&M's nursing students have the Pixis machine as part of their training. Big expense, but I think that in the long run it's certainly going to pay off. Pay off for students who will have a leg up when they hunt for jobs. Technology like the Pixis machine is not very common in a classroom setting across the state and even across the country. More and more of these are being implemented in the real world settings that we're eventually going to be working in. So having this technology here in front of us now is going to just give us another edge up on being able to do this once we get out there. Technology like the Pixis is increasing because it double checks for medication distribution error. You're only able to pull a specific dose at a specific time. And you could pull again and again, but it keeps track of everything that you're pulling. And the Pixis has records of what medication is prescribed to what patient and opens the compartment it's stored in accordingly. And if it's in one of the QB drawers, which is this single drawers, then that specific pocket will open and let you pull the medication. Cutting down user error. We're more likely to give the correct drug at the correct dosage and the correct time. By making future nurses skilled to keep you safer. In Brian, Jenny Walsh, KAGS HD News.